This is a Defocus Media production. What's up, everyone? It's your favorite optometrist, Dr. Daryl Glover. And I'm Dr. Jennifer Lyerly, resident optometry nerd. And welcome to Defocus Media, optometry's number one podcast, where we discuss the hottest topics, latest technology, eyewear, practice management, and more. So sit back, relax, and defocus. Hello, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to a new episode of the Defocus Media Podcast, and we are excited to be back live with you guys tonight. I'm super excited, man. My day has been great, and I'm super excited today because, you know, we get to hang out with one of my favorite people when it comes to the world of podcasts, and we actually had the pleasure and honor to have Jonathan Smith on our show. We were just talking earlier. It sounds like almost two years ago, but it seems like yesterday, but that's what happens when COVID kicks your butt, right? Yeah. And I, I know our last podcast was just a lot of fun. Prior to us getting on this call, I was saying, hey, do you have the guitars or the cactus in the back? And he, he still does. He's holding it down. So it still looks amazing. But today we're really going to talk about, you know, how we can uh, redefine how we learn about eye care and eyewear. So I'm super excited to learn more about this amazing topic. Jim, what about yourself? Yeah, I mean, is there any bigger burden on a practitioner right now than hiring staff, keeping staff engaged, and training them to be successfully efficient at the job? I think that's what's keeping a lot of business owners up at night. Um, And I don't, whether you're in corporate practice or small private practice, I think we're all feeling that same pain point. Uh, Daryl, is that your experience as well? Absolutely. It's no doubt about it. I mean, it's so funny how we all have these common themes, right? But I align with you 100%. It doesn't matter if you're private, whether you're corporate, um, any type of uh, uh, setting when it comes to eye care, we all are experiencing the same pain points. Well, um, let's, Jonathan, let's get an update from you. You're the director of training North America at Eslo Exotica. What has your last two years and a blur been like? <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned the cactus, and there's been a few fatalities, so you can see some empty spots on it. <laughs> I had to recenter them just for the backdrop. So, yeah, two years have killed off some cactus, hence why I still don't have a pet. Live animals stay away, although I love them. Let's let's uh, let's try and keep the cactus alive first. Uh, but y'all are looking good in two years. You know, nothing's changed. You're looking fresher. So, you know, I guess there's a silver lining to COVID. But um, otherwise, been good, and I've uh, been locked and loaded in Soho here in, in a couple – couple hundred square feet, but enjoying life. So what can I say? But uh, yeah, let's jump in. I mean, um, Leonardo uh, is uh, our new e-learning platform. And uh, you're talking about, you know, these industry challenges uh, that we have in terms of employee retention. And especially we're thinking, you know, post-COVID reality here, it's it's even accelerated, right? And we hope to get back to normal. Um, you know, we look at the industry and it's a growing industry and that's that's still good news. Uh, and we see the opportunities of the industry being centered around knowledge uh, and really that transfer of knowledge. And we saw an opportunity to advance education and training, to modernize it, to really bring it to a a new, fresh perspective. And that's really why we created Leonardo, which, as we would like to say, is a very innovative, always on, mobile friendly, Netflix style. OK, that was exhausting, but, you know, you get it. Those are my... Those are my tag words, uh, you know, I've rehearsed, but no, it truly is all of those four things in a row. And so we're really excited to bring that to market starting in January, which was kind of really the truly go live of, of this new e-learning platform. Why did a, a training program became, become such an area of focus for SLX? Yeah, we, we uh, you know, for half a century, whether it's SLO or Luxottica, before we were SLO or Luxottica, um, we just look at our employee base, and I think it speaks volumes of the success of the two companies. It's always been built around the talent we hire, but the talent we keep because we provide a lot of resources of training education internally. Uh, and then externally to our customer base, those that have taken advantage of our resources have, have always prospered or done fairly well as well, too. And so we know that helps to move uh, people forward. So we wanted to take that, that the leadership principle of, of knowledge and education uh, and really bring it together. And, and Leonardo does that. It brings the power of a half a century, or really you could say 100 years if you combine Nestle and Luxotics together, of those industry experts together now with eye care and vision care, uh, and that we want to bring these these two leaders together uh, to to give it to the marketplace now with everything that we've, we've known, learned, and, and in a fresh perspective. So really that's 
why we want to do it. And we also feel um, that we the learning really should be for all. Uh, and so Leonardo is an open learning platform. Uh, so what that means is it's really accessible to all. It's not just for an SLR client or if a Luxottica client or an SLR Luxottica client. We opened it to uh, all eye care professionals. Uh, we opened it to universities and students. Uh, and even patients could go on and explore about our brands as well, too. So there's a lot there for the industry. And we believe, as the old expression says, you know, the, the rising tide raises all ships, so to speak. And we feel we let's let's do that together uh, as the industry grows. We grow and vice versa. So it's symbiotic. Right. So that's what we you know, felt when we created Leonardo. I love it, man. I, mean, I love the approach of being able to marry both sides together underneath one platform. And, you know, I guess I've always known Essilor. I've always known Luxottica to put out you know, education content to make you better, to get you stronger in the optical, to get you stronger in the exam lane. But, you know, how does this compare? And, you know, what are we doing with, you know, ECP University, Luxottica University, you have these other different platforms that are out there. How do these work with each other or do they complement each other? If you could maybe share a little bit more of, you know, how you look at those different platforms as well with this new technology. Yeah, perfect. Um, so, they are they are platforms that have now been brought into let's say one platform to rule them all. I guess I have Lord of the Rings on my mind, but um, <laughs> you know it, we had these standalone platforms. We'll call them legacy platforms now. Before the merger, where we had Lux Academy or Luxottica University, which was less Luxottica only, uh, and then we had ECPU University or you know ECP University for the Essilor uh, United States group. And now that we've come together, we wanted to say, okay, it's time to not have people logging in here, logging in here. How do we create some uniformity also? So you have one vision, uh, one technology, one user experience, one username and password. I mean, I have a Microsoft document that's like 20 pages of username and passwords, right? Uh, how do we make it easier for the optician to have a one-stop shop login? Um, and that was the creation of, of Leonardo, which really now creates unification of two companies, two learning platforms, which are now legacy or gone and have been, you know, reformed into this one kind of complete user experience with Leonardo. Now you keep mentioning Leonardo. I mean, this is the name of the platform. Why couldn't it be called Jonathan Smith? I mean, you're like the coolest <laughs> guy I know. I think that would uh, get more people to tune in and log in. I mean, is there any way we can make that happen? But no, on a serious note, tell us about Leonardo. How did this name come about, man? I put my name in the hat, but I lost out for sure. <laughs> uh, you know, I think, I think that you'd, you'd, you'd like search engine optimization for a Jonathan Smith would be pretty costly. So, um, Good right. point. yeah. Uh, although I haven't Googled myself in a while, please don't. I'm kidding. Um, it's always it's always scary to see what happens. No, it's a it's a it's a good question, right? It seems like um, uh, kind of a random. It's a, it's a person's name, right? So, how did we come to Leonardo? And I think it's a fantastic journey. And I'll say that first and foremost, if you know Luxottica, obviously it pays homage to our founder Leonardo da Vecchio. I think that might come to mind if you're familiar with the company. It goes without saying it's his first name. So yes. So Leonardo pays some homage there. Number two is, you know, we talk about these two other platforms, Essilor, Luxottica, and we could have said it's going to be Essilor, Luxottica, University.com, et cetera. And I felt maybe chunky a little bit, um, cumbersome. Uh, so how do we create a more agnostic name that kind of unifies it in one sort of clean, clean way? Uh, but really, we drew some inspiration uh, from another Italian man, a Renaissance man, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, okay. And when we look at our tagline under here, which you can see on the broadcast here, it says science for a new vision. And I'll let you that marinate for a second because it's really powerful the more we think about what we're trying to do here with Leonardo. Uh, and if we draw on you know, Mr. Del Vin da Vinci's kind of legacy, he was so influential, whether he was a painter or sculptor or an innovator, uh, yeah. he really paved the way right for our modern cultural experience and i think that's what we're throwing after in terms of our vision with leonardo is how do we pave the way for the future of training and education within the vision care industry uh and that really is the genesis of of the leonardo name outside of kind of the other uh basic ways of kind of unification and branding uh it really was was that inspiration there well now that you say it and put it that way yeah we, we got to do away with uh jonathan smith and stick with leonardo i like that uh, better. <laughs> thanks for sharing that no, I am a guitarist, but that's the only inspiration I can bring to this, you know. Uh, and you don't want to hear me sing. It's it's gotten really pretty bad, but. You know. <laughs> well, hey, man, I sound good in the shower. I don't know about you, but that's where it stops. 
the classic way, you know, a good, a little, good little reverb in the bathroom always helps uh, elevate right, right. Any, any terrible voice, right? So. Well, uh, and you mentioned uh, at the top of the show that this was sleek and forward thinking and that like a Netflix style. And I, I think about many of our, most of our existing training in office techniques and it comes to mind like this old notebook that gets passed around to each employee and like here's your training manual and then the rest is oh well, you'll learn on the job and you know the, at the end of the day this is training is one of the things that we really we don't focus well on as practitioners and we kind of let slip by the wayside and then we wonder why our staff members don't get passionate and don't make this a career even though it's a fantastic career to pursue um, so how did, what was you, your approach to making something fun and engaging and sleek for a, a modern employee? Yeah. Um, I, I think about the new ways that we learn today and I, I'll tell you, I mean, I've been here for four and a half years. Like you said, maybe it was the notebook that we had, uh, our old site was just a repository for PowerPoints an hour long. Um, and, and God, it was a nice, nice start, but certainly we don't learn that way today. We think of how YouTube and and uh, the internet have transformed the way that we learn. And so we took a different philosophy of uh, in the flow of work learning. Um, I don't know about you, but if you have an Excel problem, I certainly don't sign up for a Saturday afternoon, one hour class for you know learning VLOOKUPs, right? I might go on and YouTube it for five seconds, yep. execute it and go right back to working. Uh, and we envision, we envision an optician, we envision a doctor, we envision uh, a staff member you know, needs a quick refresher on a Ray-Ban frame or 10 tips to selling luxury within three minutes. This was the idea of, hey, I got some downtime right in between patients. Let me jump on, not the desktop, not even my iPad, but my mobile device and just pop in my earbuds and just get a quick refresher and go right back to work and execute on what you learn. And that's that's the modern way of learning now, you know. So that was our inspiration, uh, taking, taking tones from that. And then you see the success of a Netflix uh, you see the success of of how it really has an AI generation curated around, you know, your learning experience is almost a little creepy sometimes when it says, you know, 90 percent compatibility, like, right. like you're dating your show. You know, um, well, we, we took we took inspiration from from best in class. And, and so when you go on a Leonardo platform, it actually curates and becomes smarter as you learn and starts to give you a compatibility score. And so. Yeah, we have thousands of hours worth of content. It's like, where do you start? And so we're trying to let technology really bring to the fore a better learning experience uh, for the learner instead of this hunt and peck type of thing where you're, what do I learn today? I don't know. You know, sometimes you don't know and the computer can help, the technology can help recommend based on your preferences. And so that was that was our inspiration. Yeah, I love that, man. Innovative concepts and on demand, right? That is truly the world that we live in, whether it's shopping, whether it's watching TV, whether it's, you know, subscription services, whether it's AI learning our behaviors. I mean, this is what it's all about. This can really help to just make the, the office flow tremendously better. I mean, I'm just sitting here thinking, how many times have I sat down with my technician and said, or I were consultant, this is how this lens technology works. When I'm done with this patient, we're going to circle back to this and look at this. Now I have software or innovation at my fingertips where I can sit down and say, you know what, bring the iPad right quick. Let's carve out two, three minutes and let's look at this right now. And they can watch a video or at least save that video and be able to go back to it later on. So I really like that concept of the on demand. I mean, that's the way I live anyway. So you see yeah. my language, essentially now my love language, I like everything on demand. What can I say, man? So I, I really love this concept. Cool. Jen, how do you see you using this in your practice? Yeah, I mean, I, I, Love that idea. But what I think we're prone to doing wrong in these situations, we get these really awesome tools and we're prone to like sending out a soft message. Hey, when you guys get free time, yeah. if you're if you're bored or something, you can watch something. Like, <laughs> like that is not an effective strategy oh, no. for engaging your team in training. So I do think that it needs to be led by leadership within the office to be like, hey, you know, this came up today. Let's learn about it together. Like do a little bit more to engage and then follow up and discuss about what you guys are learning. Don't just kind of put people in front of a source and be like, when you have time, you can check this out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Jen, when I look at this again, you know, in between patients, that's a great uh, touch point. 
you know, in the morning when you're meeting with your team, maybe every day take one of these lessons and sit down and listen and review it with your team members. Yes. Review it with your staff. You know, this is a great way to start the day right, to start the day educated and talk about innovation. You can even have themes, right? Maybe one day you're talking about lens technology. So everyone in the office is going to have that one buzzword. Maybe it's uh, Crizal. And that buzzword is going to go through the office the entire day. And they're going to watch a video with the team members in the beginning, maybe watch another video at lunch. And then maybe when they get off, watch another video. So this is really going to help prepare them and give them the tools and resources to be successful with that patient care. But most importantly, really speak the same language throughout the entire office. Because yeah. one of the things I've noticed is, you know, when you're in patient care, the doctor, the technician, the eyewear consultant, the front desk, sometimes they don't speak the same language. And when you're not speaking the same language, you can really make patients confused. So this is a great touch point to really elevate that patient care, but elevate the knowledge that's in the office level as well with the team members. So I'm super excited to get started with this technology in my office. Yeah. What I love that you said is it's not like this training. This is not just for the ECP. It's not just for the optician. Like this is something that your entire office can sit down and learn from no matter what their service area is. And yes, there's certain tracks, obviously, that are more geared. But I, I'm definitely of the mindset that the most effective office, like you say, Daryl, your front desk is very familiar with what's happening in optical and they can triage those phone calls and handle upset patients. And you know, if you silo every employee out, it is going to be a poorly run office. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. So Jonathan, I'm curious, man, you said thousands of content. Let's, let's elaborate on that a little bit more. Now you don't have to go through every single, you know, course, but I'm curious to know, you know, what type of courses are out there? Um, you know, how does this look? Let's spend a little more time in regards to that, because I know there's a lot of eye care professionals out there that are saying, Hey, I might be interested in this. Maybe this is something I can start tomorrow with my team or whenever the start date is and uh, take my practice to the next level. So if you don't mind, maybe touching on some of the different courses that are offered. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll start with format. And, 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 and one of our pillars is around innovation. We've said it a number of times, but I'll, I'll, I'll bring that to style of learning or instructional design, which uh, sounds boring, but actually it's, it's uh, very uh, important in terms of how effective we are in delivering, in delivering the content, right? Uh, and how we learn is so different. Each one of us learns differently. Maybe we're more of a visual learner. Yep. Maybe we really love to open that book, uh, which is not me and read, you know, a thousand pages of fiction. But, um, you know, uh, I'm a very visual learner. So a three minute video on YouTube and I, and I get it faster than reading through it for a manual. Right. For other people, they love they love the, the written word. And, and so we have a blended learning approach uh, that is a mix of video focused lessons, uh, interactive lessons that test and assess PDF downloads. We even have now virtual classrooms, which we know we're probably burnt out from the camera, but it's becoming the full-time reality. And so COVID really pushed us into that. And we are delivering, oh, I would say at least one or two virtual classrooms a week during lunch hour. So think about it like lunch with Leonardo. That's my my future like branding on this. You know, <laughs> grab a sandwich, sit in the back room, take 20 minutes and, and learn a cool subject with our experts from around the world. Uh, it's so easy to you do it on your mobile phone. And now we just got into live streaming like you're doing here. Uh, so excited to take that on board. And we might take it to Foothill Ranch and just do a tour with the design room. You know, get a sneak peek behind scenes to have some fun with us. So really the content is so varied uh, and even provides some entertainment. So we, we invite that. In terms of what you can learn, it's everything from selling and dispensing to product technologies. Uh, we think about practice management topics, uh, storytelling and branding. Um, we even think about lenses and optics, vision care. So that's some of the major pillars that we have. Um, some of the hot stuff that really is being watched now is not surprising Ray-Ban and Oakley because they are such huge brands. So that was like the top 10 lectures of, of last year and going into this year. But one of the hot things I'm seeing now that I've never seen before is luxury goods. Uh -huh. So the two top courses that are non-branded were 10 tips to selling luxury better and understanding the luxury market. And we, I think during COVID, like luxury exploded, yes. yeah. uh, right? And not surprisingly, that's where people are going, right? To, how, do, how do I help them sell you know, Chanel product? Handle it with expert care. How do I storytell better? How do I you know, deal with a, a patient that's going to spend, you know, at min 5,000, 2,000, drop it on a couple pairs of frames uh, and make sure they have that elevated experience. And so those were some of the, the trending things I peeked on right before this call that I was I was happy to see uh, people looking into. You know, I'm glad that you brought up that last point, especially about the luxury items, because 
we as eye care professionals really have to change our mindset. We have to look at someone and not judge them. We don't know what people are going to purchase or what they're going to spend. And to your point, during COVID, you know, people have been spending money, you know. So um, and this is this is proof here. I mean, you have the data, you have the research to see what everyone's looking at. And they're looking at that because clearly there's a trend that's taking place in these practices. So I, I love that um, you have that material out there to help um, elevate the awareness of it, but most importantly, teach our eye work consultants on how to convey that message and sell that product and help that patient find that solution that's gonna accommodate whatever they need. So this is fantastic news, Jonathan. Awesome. Are you guys ready to take a look at the platform? I'm definitely excited to look because I wanna see this on demand interface and see how cool this is. So let's take a look at it, Jonathan. And we'll give you some time to pull that up and then we can uh, investigate it and you know scroll through the different uh, areas as well. Well, let's hope I didn't oversell it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it lives up to the hype. It lives up to the heist. I, uh, I know I have, I have, I, I've been told I can, you know, sell like an ice to an Eskimo, but I believe in this one. This one. You have a job in my practice, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we should be up and running. Let me know if you can see the screen here. Oh yeah, we see it, man. Looks great. Awesome, cool. So let me take you through a couple of features here, and and uh, you know, cut me, cut me down when. Because uh, we, we could spend uh, quite a long time in here. So this is the homepage uh, of Leonardo. After you log in, I won't take you through the monotony of, of logging in. Uh, at the top here, obviously, you see it's bright visuals. Uh, it's a scroll bar, so you get kind of what's new and get right in. Uh, and that's kind of um, the place for for all the newness. Uh, a very simplified navigational uh, menu of items here uh, from events, which will be our virtual classrooms, our podcasting, our live streaming, uh, the full catalog. Uh, we do have a new premium content section, which we can discuss uh, after I pop back out of here. And then My Leonardo, which is uh, really, uh, what are you performance or what is your performance uh, like? So you can look historically at what courses you're taking, how many hours you're taking, uh, where you lean percentage wise. Uh, do you take more selling skills? Do you take more brand skills? So it really breaks it down and tells you, what are you consuming? Uh, if you didn't know, it's gonna make it uh, quite quantifiable. Uh, this section here, uh, is trending now. And so this is really around that pillar of community. And so this is going to give you a sense of what other people are taking, what they're looking at. It's similar to Netflix, right? We see right to the top of what's hot now. And, and that's this yeah. section here. So there's involvement of your peers in here that is really driving uh, this content list uh, of stuff here. Uh, what I love that's really cool and Netflix does this is if you scroll over some of them as we advance, you'll start to see you get a preview of the course uh, without even clicking in. Uh, now this one you can't hear because we can't uh, display sound uh, tonight, uh, but you'll get a quick taste in a minute about what this course is gonna be. Very visual again, right? No reading, uh, but very, very interactive. Here's another one, for example. Um, and you can see, <clears throat> again, visually stunning, I think clean. Uh, and you have all these different se segments here really to keep you uh, up to date on recently added uh, the latest collection. So this is around our launches. So again, brand focused. Uh, and I love this section here because I'm very forgetful. In fact, this is my, uh, this is my uh, uh, site here. You can see that I didn't finish uh, the future of visual merchandising and the Ray-Ban ambassador course, which I need to return to and finish. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is for my old gray matter as, as I get older here, this is the reminder to say, Hey, you know, come back to us, come back to Leonardo uh, and finish what you started. Uh, it's always like, it's like that um, when you shop on, I don't know, we'll use West Elm, for example, I was buying furniture the other day and I put it in the cart, left it and, and, uh, and I didn't go back to purchase and you get that email. It's like, hey, you know, you, you forgot something in your cart. Well, we're getting there and this is kind of a start of, hey, come back and learn with us. Uh, you forgot to finish the lesson. So I think that's kind of a really cool intuitive approach to learning. So let me ask you, this, because this is very robust, amazing, right? And you know, my question that I have for you is, how can we see this, or have you ever thought about implementing this into some type of opticianary program? Because it seems like you cover so much from top to bottom, at least from the education piece. Is this something that you're gonna work with maybe opticianary schools to uh, collaborate on? I know it's not gonna be the actual physical touch of certain things like cutting lens and measurements and things of that nature, but there's a lot of great content right here that 
you know, it could be a universal way of learning how to do things when it comes to that to that topic. Yeah, no, it's it's something of consideration. If you're talking about partnerships with with universities, uh, we're thinking of now, how do we integrate some of this into their curriculum? Um, that's one piece that could be branded Leonardo as part of their curriculum for some of these uh, these pathways of optionary. Uh, but also all of the students uh, will get free access to uh, to Leonardo to the paid unpaid section very soon so that they can obviously uh, immerse themselves ahead of time on all this great content as they go through their schooling. And so we want to open that access to their to their journey uh, as uh, as they mature. So the, the platform soft launched in May 2021. There's been over a million hours of learning log. Tell us about the feedback and the reception that this program has garnered. Yeah, so I think uh, first and foremost, people say sleek, modern. I, I think those are the buzzwords I keep getting and, and hopefully you agree. I, I think it looks pretty sleek and clean. Um, and so they're, they're enjoying the user experience. Um, they're finding uh, it intuitive in terms of uh, navigation, uh, for example, you know, again, if we want to go into catalog here, we have kind of a, again, another way that you can explore the platform would be um, typing in a word like luxury. And you can see as I'm typing in the word, right, it wasn't even finished yet. It's starting to populate everything that has the word luxury in it, um, which is 14 different lessons here. Again, uh, another intuitive way to kind of uh, explore the platform. From a content standpoint, uh, since it is what we call micro learning, uh, two to three minutes for the most of the courses, 10 at max before we start to get into some lengthier kind of uh, multi-course moments. It's, uh, it's something that they're doing uh, on their down moments in between uh, patients. We have uh, one individual I interviewed not too long ago. She's at the front desk. She's taken uh, over 500 courses in one year. Uh, I went out to interview her out in the uh, St. Louis area, uh, and she uh, was just doing them in between phone calls uh, of taking different appointments in two, three minutes. And she really had an interest of the brand so that when someone approached the, the front desk, she could actually also be educated on the dispensary to speak that one language, so to speak, as you're talking about Dr. Glover. Uh, she could be, you know, same as the optician staff and, and others and in, in talking about what is in the practice as well. So um, that's what people are saying so far. It's fun. It's sleek, uh, accessible on mobile. Uh, and the content so far has been, although quick, uh, influential on their selling experience. So that's what we've heard so far. Well, I'm, I'm curious, when you do these courses, do you get a certificate of some sort or is it just, you know, really on demand, you sit down, you learn, you move on, you educate yourself and then just add value to your office? Or is there some type of certificate that the um, students are getting to complete, you know, X amount of these courses that are available? Yeah, so so right now uh, the content today is is uh, is uh, there's nothing in terms of a credit uh, per se, but there's obviously your hours of learning that go into your your passport. But very soon we're thinking about certifications, many different types of certifications. So this is part of the evolution of of Leonardo. In fact, a basic certification that we will bring into the platform in the paid content section or the premium content section uh, is a an entire ABO CE area which by end of February, early March, we'll have over 20 hours of ABOCE for opticians to take. And then we'll evolve that uh, to many more lectures uh, by the end of the year. So there will be some certification both uh, in, in the ABO way uh, and as well as some Leonardo certifications that we want to also develop. What do you kind of see as a, a future build out of this? I know you had mentioned maybe long-term partnering with universities, expanding with student access. Sometimes, you know, you, you mentioned you had interviewed that staff member and she clearly is extremely self-motivated and she was gonna be that person who was like, I have a free five minutes and I'm gonna watch a video. But many people need a little encouragement to be able to do so. So um, any thoughts about a reward system or a gamification of the platform? That's a great point. We, we know that um, sometimes we need a little nudge. We need a little bit of a carrot to kind of get us motivated to get on and learn. Um, and yes, the next evolution will be around gamification. Uh, and I think that has worked well it is a best in class uh, um, way to kind of drive and motivate. So in the coming months, uh, we will build out things like um, a leaderboard uh, where we can have some competitive nature 
uh, in who's learning more or, or how many hours of learning you've taken. So that can be one way of inspiration, so to speak. And we know uh, people like healthy competition. That's why we still love our sports games and looking forward, obviously, to the Super Bowl coming this Sunday. Uh, but also, uh, we're thinking uh, about uh, ways to inspire. Uh, what was the other part of the gamification? We were thinking about um, outside of leaderboards. Oh, shoot, there was one other way. Um, we also have earn and learn right now as well, too. So you can actually win or get free frames for taking a number of courses. So we do have incentives to learn right now as well, too, outside of gamification, which will be a future evolution. You had me right there. Anything to get some new frames right there? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So, you know, free platform, you have this premium version. It's on demand. I mean, what is it that you guys are not doing over there? I mean, that whole gamification deal, I mean, that's a big deal. I mean, we're seeing, you know, online right now in the stock market, all these companies purchasing all these gaming companies, things like that. This is the future. Um, so I, I love that you're getting ahead of it and you're actually bringing it to the eye care arena instead of us being dinosaurs and not of being a part of what everyone else is doing in the world. So this is great. This is how we bring more people into our profession. This is how we become the leaders in healthcare. And this is how we, we become more knowledgeable at the end of the day. Absolutely. Yeah. And that second part of the gamification, see, this is why I need uh, to Google it really quickly because my absent mindedness, but the, <laughs> the, the, you know, this is, this is a prime example where like I'm at the table and you're like, who's that actor or actress, you know, in that movie, it's like, that's really helped me in conversation in my life. So this is, this is Leonardo as well too. But um, the second part of that gamification is really creating ambassadors. And I, you know, we, we used to do a program around Oakley where you had Oakley ambassadors and, who doesn't want to be that person who took, you know, 900 hours of Oakley and just knows everything about the genesis of that brand, you know, Chanel, Ray-Ban. And so we want to knight you, so to speak, or king you, or give you that badge of honor, uh, which will go in your profile and uh, other benefits will come from that. And that's part of the competitive leaderboard spirit. Maybe you're that brand enthusiast. Uh, we know how, how popular brand enthusiasts are, especially when we think about uh, social media uh, becoming that uh, that brand ambassador. And we want to create that social learning, we want to create that brand ambassadorship, we want to create that love and passion for the brands. And so we'll drive that through the gamification as a secondary piece to the to the general leaderboard as well too. So it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get in there. And we're gonna do it for our employees as well too, which I think will we'll be, we'll probably get, a, it might get a little fierce, you know. Um, <laughs> as we go back to the office right now, we can hide behind our computers, but I guarantee you when we're down the hallways, there could be some like, you know, I got you today in terms of learning on Leonardo, but hey, we'll, we'll have some fun with it back with the employees as well. well and, and that's what I'm thinking about. You know, when I get into my office, you know, I'm telling my team members like, hey, who's who's up on the leaderboard? Who has the most knowledge? I mean, yes, you may also get frames, but think about the competition that you can create within your own office. Think about the frames that you could give away in your own office or maybe uh, bonuses or some other type of incentive for just completing these courses, but completing courses that are fun and that are truly knowledgeable. And that's all on one platform instead of, like you said before, going here, going there. Anything that you can do to make it easier for people to learn is key, at least in my eyes. And that's what I'm all about. Just efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. And to me, that's exactly what this platform does for you. All right, so obviously available 24 seven. You can access it on a readable device. It is free. So starting tomorrow, everybody call to action. Where can you go to access Leonardo and start training your staff? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, great call to action. So uh, we can drop it in the chat if, if you want. It's leonardo.slolexotica.com. Uh, so leonardo.slolexotica.com. It is a self-registration platform. So go in. Uh, if you're not currently uh, an SLO Luxonica customer, no worries. All you need is a first name, last name, which don't use John Smith. It's been taken. I want to be the only one. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, again, if you want to be anonymous, go ahead and put John Doe, Jane Doe, John Smith. I'll take it. It's fine. Add your email address and give us a little information about you. Are you a student? Are you a patient? Um, are you just not a customer, but you're an optician, a doctor? Um, and then go ahead and click enter. We'll send you a quick email. You'll be registered uh, instantly to start learning and have access to the majority of our content. So we invite you there. And if you are a customer, obviously pop on. Your whole staff should be registered because it is ultimately the majority of it is free uh, for you and your staff. And we'll take we'll take the entire staff. Uh, you know, there's no one that can't play around it here. So 
We should see everybody in the staff on here. If you need any help, obviously reach out to us. There is a contact information here in terms of an email. We will handhold, give you the white glove service. Uh, we're here as many hours as we need to get everybody on this platform. It's really, we're, we're enthusiastic about it. Uh, we know you'll be enthusiastic when you get in and see it. And so we don't want anybody missing out, even if it's you know, reception or, or other. Uh, everybody should be in here learning because we have courses for, for really everybody in, in the practice for that overall improvement of patient experience, which is ultimately key in this industry. Awesome. Well, man, this has been fantastic. I just want to say thank you so much on behalf of Defocus Media. We really enjoyed this uh, live stream, this podcast. The platform is on demand. It's innovative, great concepts. Um, it can really help elevate your practice and take it to the next level. Uh, make sure that you sign up today. Again, hit up uh, leonardo.sloilexotica.com uh, and uh, make sure you register today. Help take your team to the next level and this platform can make it happen. Uh, thanks again, Jonathan. It's your favorite optometrist, Dr. Daryl Glover and the lovely opto nerd, Dr. Jennifer Lyerly. Until next time, stay healthy, stay positive and stay blessed. Peace. Thanks, guys. All right, colleagues, and it's a wrap. Thank you dearly for hanging out with the Defocus Media team. We hope truly something resonated with you. And if it did, be sure to give us five stars and make sure you follow us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, you named it. And our handle is at Defocus Media on all platforms. And until next time, be sure to keep it 2020 and we look forward to seeing you on the 